Peggy 3. Milestone returns to rallying and does so with a truly important and highly regarded license, that of the WRC. Before starting to draft the WRC game, we immediately understood that there were two fundamental points on which to concentrate. The first was that of analysing the history of rally games. The second part, which was certainly more interesting, consisted of immersing ourselves in the real rally world the world of the WRC. As well as from the fans' point of view, we managed to live the events as protagonists. Indeed, we had the opportunity to talk with the drivers, engineers and mechanics of the various teams. Another very important aspect of the preparation of the game was certainly the track design. We're certain that in order to break into the hearts of enthusiasts, as well as those of people who are perhaps picking up a World Rally Championship game for the first time, we need to take care to balance many aspects of playability. On the one hand, we have to satisfy those who want something that is easily intuitive right from the first games, easily controllable and easily enjoyable, perhaps as a way of relaxing. On the other hand, we know that we will be followed by those who want to feel as though they really are at the wheel of these 300 horsepower and 600 newton torque cars. We know that our players and those who follow us more generally are very passionate and demanding. Then again, we also are very demanding on the development side. We've been very careful to understand how the suspension reacts, how the tyres grip the surface, and it really has been an intensive exercise. This is because, while it is already very difficult faithfully to replicate the behaviour of an automobile on an asphalt circuit, this becomes exponentially more difficult in the case of the World Rally Championship, because we need to interface not only with the driver and his car, but also with the environment that surrounds them. The interaction with all that is the outside world has also been studied closely. We therefore need to pay attention not only to the road, but also to what is off-road, because if the main motto is stay on the road, it is also true that in the moment in which we make a mistake, we can run into lots of errors. We could put a wheel in a rut, end up in a ditch, make our crossways jump, be careful with the landing. Therefore, we are not only simulating all that is the physical behavior of the car as it drives, but we're also simulating that which happens at the moment of the incident, overturning, destruction of the bodywork and less well-performing components. The work behind this is truly enormous, but also really engaging. Developing the official game of the WRC Championship for Milestone is the most enthralling challenge, right from the beginning. In fact, our team has had to confront a technological challenge that has not happened for many years. From the closed circuits of the previous titles, we passed to a technology based on the open environment, with an extreme variety of structures and vegetation, all typical for each location of the rally. In the real rally world, a competition is made up of 20 or 30 special stages of 15 to 20 kilometers that are raced over three days. Obviously, it was not possible to transpose directly such a competition into a video game. But we had to be prepared to concentrate all the emotions that a driver must deal with in an entire weekend into very short gaming sessions. Once all this information had been gathered, it was important to understand how to go and create the real bands and the bands of the special stages that would then be used in the game. From the forests of Wales to the deserts of Jordan, for example, we studied how to recreate all the peculiarities and the different types of elements that characterize these landscapes. This strong aesthetic characterization of the environments was then followed by a broad analysis of the physicality of the same environments, 
or rather an analysis of the conformation of the environment in the face of the mechanical car. In our WRC, the player will not only compete against his opponents, but also with the surrounding environment. So the real challenge will be to arrive at the finishing line by battling with the environment and challenging its harshness. Our aim is that of creating a game that's realistic, but accessible to all. The key words that we've been using in our brainstorming sessions were world is our stage, and so right from the menu, the thing that will appear to the player really is the world. It pleased me to think of dividing WRC into two faces. One face that is more the face of concentration, of immersion, that is the menu part. This has very slow movements and high impact content and serves to migrate the player slowly into the environmental context in which the race will take place. To create this strong contrast between the world and the action, we decided to use a set of ad hoc cameras that run along with the car and the driver's viewpoint that would pass on the adrenaline and the action of that event. In order to make a scene realistic, it is obviously not enough to just insert real elements, but they must also be rendered in the best way possible. We therefore had to revise our technology considerably. Until now this technology had only seen circuit environments, and now we had to render an environment as varied and natural as the entire planet. The same can be said about the cars and the vehicles. Having a single vehicle, compared to the previous titles, we wanted to aim very much at the quality. We now find ourselves therefore with a car made up of 50,000 polygons, covered in all possible shaders in order to make the vehicle credible in all the conditions of light and terrain in which it will drive. The drivers themselves have undergone a generation process from a high resolution model, always starting with the references that we receive from all over the world. And we can say that we have a very detailed model that will then be used for both onboard framing and for the game itself. Our graphic designers photographed everything they came across and these images were integrated with hundreds of shots taken by professional photographers on the ground to make up a library from which to construct all of the objects and all of the textures that we need to colour the circuit. Speaking of the actual production, we started off with the reference photos to create realistic textures for the terrain. This placed us before a challenge which we had never faced before, that of having a naturalistic terrain. Besides this, we had to develop shaders, especially for the vegetation, the new 3D vegetation, because there will be a lot of it compared to the autodromes, and we also had to create a shader especially for the water. After the circuit constructed by the designers is painted through the terrain shader, we turn to the creation of the stages and the terrain which is unable to be traversed by the car. Parallel to the creation of the track, we created a whole series of objects that populate the circuit itself and which make the environment more lifelike. Once all the pieces necessary for the construction of the track are available to the artist, we turn to our main tool, the Gem Editor. Using this and through its modelling instruments, we can populate and enrich the track in a quick and intuitive manner. Believe me, you're going to have fun. With the Superbike series, we couldn't sleep at nights for seeking to find new ways of making it even better. Well, with WRC, we've erased the word from our dictionary. Ma dici che basta o va bene? Io non mi rendo conto di quello che ho detto, quindi non so di cosa, cosa ho detto. Ok, va bene. Non ce la posso fare. No, questa è proprio cannata. Sono un professionista. Sono cresciuto negli uffici. Ma avete delle manette o qualcosa, dei bracciai, non lo so. Qui chiudo e dico qualcosa o al saluto. Ha, 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 ha.